、まあ、僕はあのアフリカのラリーで、えーまあ、パリ高で20回、えー、参加してきましたで、あのパイクスピークというのはやっぱりあの非常に僕の中でもあの関心高くて、まあ、いつか出てみたいというレースの中の一つでしたね。Itself is very difficult. I mean, I've been driving over 25 years and I've been through many courses, but there's nothing like Pikes Peak. This is the mountain, this is the hill. You, you can talk to worldwide competitors, they may not know where Colorado Springs is, but they know where Pikes Peak is. The amount of high technology is unbelievable in these cars. Participating at Pikes Peak Hill Climb、uh, with electric vehicles, we saw two big elements that was a huge advantage racing with EVs. One being motor. Obviously, we do not lose any output or power going up the hill with thinner air. So that's how we maintain the speed. Now, the second big thing is the regenerative braking system. Basically, the regenerative braking system will actually decelerate the vehicle for you, and it also actually stores energy back into the battery cell. I believe Mitsubishi has so much RD on this car, their motors, the battery pack development, that coming out here, they knew what they were getting themselves into, they knew what their equipment was capable of. And I think that's what makes them a world class EV team. To build this prototype car, we got to work right away, and the car was completed in、uh, March or April. So it took us about three to four months. So for this year, we're running the production iMeV plus a high performance EV, which is the iMeV Evolution. iMeV is essentially a stock vehicle, and we have the iMeV Evolution, which has three motors in total, but they're the same motor that came from the production vehicle. For the drivers this year, we had、uh, for the iMeV Evolution car, we have selected Hiroshi Masuoka, who has been our factory driver for a long time. He works at Mitsubishi Motors, he knows every product, and he played a big role in developing this iMeV Evolution car. So we certainly thought immediately that he would be the perfect fit for this program.、Uh, for the stock or production vehicle, we've selected、uh, Becky Gordon. Uh, who comes from a very well known、uh, race family, let's say. Racing's pretty much in my blood. My mom pre ran the Baja 500 when she was seven months pregnant with me. My great grandfather raced Indy cars back in the early 1900s. My dad is known as Baja Bob Gordon. My brother is Robbie Gordon. My sister is actually the only、uh, female to win the Baja 1000 overall. And I'm married to Ryan Hunter Ray, who's the Indy car driver. We needed to have a driver who would be a great spokesman for the product. She was the perfect fit,、uh, being able to talk about it, understanding the electric technology, but at the same time being able to drive the car fast to the top. The Mitsubishi iMeV is way more fun to drive than I ever thought it would be. It reminds me a lot of Baja in the sense that you kind of have to remember odd things about each turn, and it's kind of the same thing that you have to look for here at Pikes Peak. I think you definitely have to have respect for the mountain. If you don't, it's gonna bite you. And, you know, there's some places along the way that it's a long way down if you go off. So during the first day, we got the car set up.、Uh, it was Hiroshi's first run、uh, with the iMeV Evolution car on track. So we went out. Uh, I would say the track temperature was much cooler than what we expected, so Hiroshi struggled、uh, with traction.、Uh, considering that, I think his time was relatively fast, so we were pretty confident that we could compete at the top level within the EV division.、Uh, during the second session, we decided to swap tires to a different compound, and that tire seemed to suit the car.、Uh, he was able to carry more speed through the corners, and he was very confident going into it. 
However, uh, he had this incident going into the engineer's corner. Essentially, he didn't have enough time to slow the car down, uh, went off the hill and hit the ditch. And uh, that turned the whole schedule around. And we got back, we had to assess the situation, whether if the car is repairable or not. We looked at it, all of the team members said, let's do this. We worked well together. We don't, we're not all on the same language, and we're not all on the same page, but we want to get one thing done, get the race car finished. Essentially, you know, it was amazing for everybody you know, to be able to work as a team and, and literally bringing the car back to life. So starting day two, we had to divide and conquer. Uh, one team certainly had to fix the car. Uh, the other team, we had to keep the, the production car program going forward. So we had to stub the chassis at the firewall, rebuild the entire front of it. I got done welding the front members up last night. Now we're figuring uh, all of our suspension pickup points. It's all got to be very precise within a millimeter to get all the caster and camber correct. You know, we knew the time was running out, so at that point we ramped up the pace. Uh, you know, I mean, everybody was full throttle working on the car. Now we're at the point of all the rack mounts are in. We're waiting for the rack to arrive here in the next hour and a half to two hours. Uh, we're getting ready to set the motor in right now. They had one of their gentlemen fly over with the new rack and pinion, which we received Friday night, finished the car up early Saturday morning, and went and tested at PPIR. Well, with the crew working all night long, literally, and getting to the track and seeing the car move, I, I would think everybody was very, very happy and pleased. And Masuoka san hopped in the car, he did a two installation lap, made sure everything was running turning and stopping uh, and then uh, he went right back out and uh, he said the car was perfect uh, same as it was before the crash. When we got up to the mountain on race day on the morning it's pretty nervous knowing you just rebuilt a car in three days. And I think uh, we're uh, ready to go we're very excited about it fans are here and uh, you know it's a great experience to be here. And a lot of drivers would probably go up there and not push it as hard, knowing that they had no practice on the mountain, and especially being a rookie. But he knew he was up there for one reason, and he gave it his all, and he did a heck of a job. That was the first time he was ever to make it uh, from top to bottom in his race car. And he hung it out, he performed flawless, and turning a 1030 is unbelievable. I've been up there for 27 years, and that's a great time for your rookie year. Oh, it feel great. I mean, Masaoka san never saw the car on the upper midsection. This was his first run, and it's literally incredible to do a 10 minute 30 second shattering the previous EV record. Becky did a great job too. I mean, her car has been flawless all weekend. She made it to the top. I'm very happy. Well, I think that our team has been working for four days. Everyone has been working for a long time. Really... Of my 27 years on the mountain, this is the most special one to me. With uh, what happened on our first day of practice Wednesday morning with Hiroshi going off at Engineer's Corner, we were able to overcome that work night and day and get the car back on the road for race day and we finished second. 
The first year is learning gear. We learned it the hard way. Obviously, we had the incident. We had to repair the car. But by repairing the car, we were able to think about maybe we should do this to make it better. I believe Mitsubishi is on the top of their game. They're the best in the world for EV technology right now. And what we needed this year was to get Hiroshi to the top to get the data we need to build a car next year. As far as 100% EV oil control system, I think the EV and the oil control system is pretty much our prime uh, proprietary technology that we have. So the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, which is going to have some range, uh, the first part of let's say 30 miles could be electric, and then after that, obviously you're going to have the engine to support uh, your range. So essentially that SUV that we're going to be introducing is going to have a lot of the technology that we actually tested here at Pikes Peak Hill Climb. You know, essentially our goal is to gather the data, certainly apply it to the next generation technology, but I think it's going to help a bunch if we do decide to come back again next year shooting for the outright record.